Hi again then guys and welcome to another speed build on Forza Horizon 3 in particular and this car is I would say a deceptively good one the Jaguar F-Type Project 7 it's a gorgeous looking car as far as I'm concerned it has that speedster style that some of the old models like the D-Type had especially with that buttress behind the driver's seat that looks really cool to me I love any car with buttresses behind the seats Stuff like the Mercedes CLK GTR Roadster, that kind of thing. And of course, the new Pagani Huayra Roadster also has that. Now, this car in particular, I would say, has outstandingly good acceleration. The top speed is very good, but the acceleration is, I would say, even more surprising. Because from cars like this, you would typically expect them to have pretty good top speed. They generally do, especially with engine conversions such as this one, which is, of course the 1500 horsepower V12 from an Aventador, you'd expect that kind of top speed. Jaguars are known for being quick on most games. But acceleration? Well, that's another thing. Jaguars are typically similar to Aston Martins or Bentleys in that they tend to be a little bigger, a little heavier, more luxurious. Not necessarily as quick off the line, though. So this one, I think, bucks that trend really well. Now, as far as drivetrain, I would recommend all-wheel drive, and of course, that makes a massive difference to your acceleration off the line. Of course, you want the twin turbo, fit all of the power upgrades, lower the weight, all that kind of obvious stuff. I've opted to alter the visuals slightly by removing the rear wing, and the reason for that is because I wanted to give it a sleeker, more speedster-style appearance, and to me, the rear wing just doesn't look right on this car. But of course... That's down to personal preference, as always. I've also left the rims stock, because I think they look really good anyway. Now, if you like the way this looks, you can find this exact setup on my storefront. So, if you want that build on your car, you can use the keywords in this video's description to find that quickly and easily. But if you'd rather do it yourself, of course, then this is the video for you. Now, as far as the tuning side of things, if we take a look at the benchmark first, you can see what I mean. That acceleration is much quicker than I would have predicted it would be for this car. 1.7 to 60, 3.6 to 100. Those are very impressive numbers for this car. The top speed, as I said, is not bad. 268 certainly isn't slow, but you'd probably expect it to be somewhere around there, around 270-ish. Now, as far as the gearbox, I would recommend a final drive of 3.4, then individual gears of 2.9, 2, 1.5, 1.18, 0.94, and 0.75. So, fairly similar to what we'd usually do with a couple of changes. As far as alignment, as you can see, we've gone for neutral camber and tow with one degree of caster. But of course, as with all of the settings, feel free to mess around or change them to personal preference if you feel necessary. As far as anti-roll, we've rounded those off to 32 and 21, springs on 177, 193, and the lowest ride height front and rear. Dampers we've got on 14 and 6, respectively. Aero doesn't apply, of course, unless you fit the wings. And for the diff, we've gone for 100% on acceleration, zero on decel, and then for this particular car, perhaps not quite as tail-heavy in terms of the power and torque split. In favour of the rear, we've got about 66%, which is much closer to a centre split than we'd usually have. That gives you great launch off the line, but of course if you want even more high-speed manoeuvrability, or make the car even more tail-happy, you can increase that maybe to 75 or even 80, but of course you will lose a little bit of launch and a little bit of benchmark speed off the line. But it depends what you want and what you need. So if you decide to use some variation of this tune or get it from my storefront, either way, obviously, I hope you have a lot of fun with it and win races with it. But that's it for this build. Of course, you could sub down below to see new ones as soon as they're released or check out the ones which we've already done in the playlist at the end of this video. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.